let us now study how to add annotations to the entity models that have been generated by the ADM for us. These annotations will help us add validation support and uh, it's a good idea to always add annotations. So let us first of all locate where we have to add annotations. Since we are going to store data uh, for our registration form, our annotations have to be applied to the TBL registrations. So let us locate that table first. This is our solution explorer and uh, we added annotations to this. Open and uh, this is what it actually looks like. This is our EDMX. Under EDMX you will find mod registration .ttt and uh, there you will find a table called TBL registration. Double click it and this is the table to which annotations have to be applied. These annotations will help us in validation but there is an issue here. If you apply annotations inside this file things will go wrong because this code is auto generated which means as soon as you uh, compile this build rebuild whatever changes you make to this file they will be lost. So this means things have to be done somewhere else. See this, see this uh, warning at the top also. This code was generated from a template. Manual changes to this file may cause unexpected behavior in your application. So one thing is very clear that we can't apply annotations here. So for this we have to use a special technique. So first of all you can uh, see that uh, this TBL registration has been marked as a partial class. Entity Framework knows this. That somebody might have to add something to this or may apply some annotations to this. So Entity Framework know th knows this already. That is why it has already marked this as public partial. So this means you can add a class by the same name somewhere else in your code and apply the annotations there. And those annotations will be automatically linked to this one. But there is a lot of caution that needs to be taken here. First of all, whatever annotations you add and whatever partial class you add your matching partial class should be in the same namespace. If it is not in the same namespace then linking won't occur. So this is one thing. You can't add your partial class TBL registration in some other namespace. Then linking won't be possible. It would be treated as a separate class. So this is one thing. The second thing is that you have to use the MD suffix for naming your new class. MD stands for metadata and this suffix is a fairly standard suffix called MD suffix which we have to add for properly connecting our annotation class to this class. So we'll do that and let us see how. Let us start by adding a class. If we add that class to entity models then it will automatically fall in this namespace. 